Lesson 8.3, defining and using negative exponents. I don't understand why, but a lot of people have a lot of trouble with this. My guess is that when they see a negative exponent like this, they immediately start thinking that the number <clears throat> has to end up as a negative number somehow. Well, that's not the case. So let's just think about it in our calculator. If I put 2 to the negative 3 and always use parentheses in your calculator, hit enter, I'll get 0 0.125. And then if you hit math, fraction, enter, you'll get 1 eighth. So why did you get 1 eighth? Well, the negative exponent just means move it to the bottom. So 2 to the negative third is actually 1 over 2 to the third. That's all it means. Just make sure you remember we're dealing with a negative in the exponent. 2 to the third is 8, so we're getting 1 eighth. That's it. That's pretty much the whole lesson. Just keep it straight. The only other little thing in here is that anything, and I do mean anything to the 0, is 1. Why is that? Well, if you had x squared over x squared, we remember from property of exponents using quotients that that's like 2 minus 2. That would be like x to the 0. Well, instead of writing that, we could all say it's kind of like x times x over x times x. And these would all cancel, and we'd get 1. So the real reason that anything to the 0 is 1 is that it has to be so all the rules stay the same. Math is perfect. And if a rule changes from example to example, well, then we'd have a problem. So, like we just said before, a to the negative n is the same as 1 over a to the n. So, we just did an example. I'll do another one. 4 to the negative 2 is 1 over 4 squared is 1 over 16. 1 over a to the n, if I wanted to flip it up, and we generally write exponents as positive numbers would be the same as a to the negative n. So let's just say we had 1 over 1 half to the negative 2. Well, that'd be the same as saying 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth. So just a simple example there. And you'll get more of these as you go along. So let's just do a bunch of examples. That's really all it is. Everything has to be positive exponents. So 3 to negative 2 is 1 over 3 squared is 1 ninth. 1 fifth to negative 2. Now we flip it, or you could distribute if you want. It's the same as 1 over 5 to the negative 2, which is the same as 5 squared. And the 1 should be the negative 2 also up here, but 1 to any power is just going to be 1, which is 25. Negative 8 to the negative 2 is 1 over negative 8 squared, which is 64. Anything to the 0 is 1. 0 to the negative 2 is 1 over 0 squared, which is undefined. 2 thirds to the negative 2, well, now we're starting to see we can just flip it. And it gets us 9 fourths. 2 to the negative third on the bottom is like 2 to the third on top. That's 8. If you want to pause the tape now, I would recommend you do so. I'm just going to slap the answers down from here on out.
That's it. If you're not sure why some of those answers are what they are, you need to go back and make sure you're clear on the laws of exponents for products and quotients. Always recommend getting everything in positive exponent form, but make sure you read the directions because they may or may not say to do so. That's it. Good luck.